Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Impressions Gallery's seventh annual photo book fair. Um, this year's theme is inspired by our current exhibition, In Which Language Do We Dream?, which is a collaboration by documentary and socially engaged photographer Rich Wilds and Ruba Al Hadawi, the mother of the Syrian family. Um, the theme of this year's photo book fair is home. So the, the talks that we have programmed in this afternoon will talk about identity, home, displacement, migration, refugees experience. Um, it's a great pleasure to welcome those of you online. I've already done the greeting to the fantastic audience in person here at Impressions. So as I said, welcome. It's a great pleasure to introduce our first two speakers. This is so weird. I've got two, two, three things happening. Um, so first of all, it's up is um, Serbes Sala, who is from the Sirkan Darkroom, and he's coming from us in Turkey. And she, he's going to be in conversation with Liv Constantine Maxwell from uh, Max Books, who's coming to us from London. Um, they're, they're having a conversation about this brilliant new book that's just been published by Mac. Uh, I saw the air fly. It's all about the Sirkan Darkroom's um, uh, images made by young people and children as part of this project. Um, I won't say any more now about to pass on the conversation. Um, they're going to speak for 35 minutes, which I will time. Then uh, there'll be five minutes at the end for our online global audience to ask questions, which they are putting in the chat. That, and then five minutes for you to ask questions and I'll give you your instructions. But so put your hands together and let's hear all about the amazing project and book, I Saw the Air Fly. Thank you. Hello. Hey, can you hear me, Sebastian? You're muted. <laughs> wow, sorry. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Well, thank you so much, everyone, for joining us. Um, and yeah, um, we're going to be talking about I Saw the Air Fly, which is um, the new book that Max just published, which is um, shows images made by children in Marden who are um, working with Sakani Darkroom. Um, and so, I mean, maybe, maybe let's, should we begin? I mean, do you want to tell us a bit about Sakani Darkroom to start off with? Um, you know, what, yeah, what, what's the work that you do there? Just so we can kind of give everyone a... Yeah, I mean, around. I guess that was a history of Sirkani Darkroom, if you want. Yeah, yeah, let's do that, let's do that. Yeah, so in 2017, so we start, we, with the support of German NGO, we created Sirkan and Darkroom. So Germany NGO, yes, German NGO supported us for 10 months. The idea of the project, so one day, so there is an area in Mardin, it's called called the station. It's very uh, poor area, never reached, never been reached by any humanitarian organization. And all the building uh, in the area are belong to the government. It's left left the building. So it also was home of thousands of refugees and local children families. So we one day we went to that area. We saw uh, there are the like, people. They are speaking the, the same languages. They are from different backgrounds, but they never been communicating with each other. So we so, yeah we got idea to use like a photography as a language to bring all these communities uh, together. So yeah, because there is Iraqi refugees, uh, Syrian refugees, displaced people, uh, people from the like, city to Mardin, from Nusaybin to Mardin. So, and also local children, families, people. So yeah, with the photography, we want to like empower children. Uh, yeah, like I said, from the like, beginning of the project, in 10 months, we got supported from German NGO. It's called Beltunga Hilfa. And after that, so the, the funding ended, we continued the project with uh, yeah, uh, opening fundraising and people from Turkey and outside Turkey, yeah, they supported us until now. So yeah, it's from people, so. And so yeah. how did you start working? Um, how did you start working with the dark room? So yeah, I mean, uh, after, so I'm from, after Syrian war, I came to Turkey 
So yeah, I started working with some NGOs as a photographer. Yeah, one day uh, I went to Mardin and I saw Sirkane Festival. They, I mean, every summer they have a festival. And right now we are also having Flying Carpet Children Festival. So yeah, uh, yeah, I saw the festival and I started working with them as a volunteer. Yeah, and we, yeah, one day, so we, like I said, so this is how I meet Sirkane and we created Sirkane.com. And so, um, so the children that you're working with, so these, the, the kids, what, what ages are they? So they're kind of, I'm trying to, I'm trying to remember what, who the youngest people are now. I mean, I mean, we mostly like, we're working from seven to 17, but okay. sometimes they are like, the children are around eight or six ages. So yeah, but mostly it's seven to 17. And so, so let, let's, I'm trying to, let's think about the book now. So when, I'm trying to remember when we first started working together on this, and I think it was, do you remember? Yeah, I mean, I remember two years ago when I contacted you. Yeah. And you was very welcome about, yeah, you, you gave out, you, for raising voice. You, yeah, yeah, I remember this. And then I think it was, I think starting work on the, on the book itself, from memory I think it was at the very start of the pandemic yeah yeah. Because I remember exactly where I was sitting and I remember we had a we had a Skype to talk about it and you know I remember when when you first reached out to Mac about the book I think we were all just completely in awe of the photographs because you know if for anyone listening who hasn't had a chance to kind of look at the book yet so they're um they're really they're really unusual photographs in that I mean, I think, and I think what we've spoken about a lot, Sebast, in terms of, you know, why why the darkroom project is kind of so magical in a way is because the photographs that you're seeing here, I'm going to show, I'm going to just show a few, um, you know, they, they're really sort of joyful and kind of quite surreal. And, you know, these aren't, they're not, they're not the kind of photographs that you'd expect to see um, from, from children who have had you know who've been displaced or you know have had been kind of living through times of conflict so you know I think for, for us when you know when you first reached out to us that was that felt so surprising and exciting to see um and yeah I mean I guess I'd, as, what was your impression when you first started when you first started teaching I mean, I mean, so my idea was to like give the children a camera to actually to rep represent themselves. So, the, I mean, I didn't expect the result will be like this magical, but it will be very creative and very joyful. So, yes, I mean, I'm always getting surprised when I see. So when from the beginning and until the uh, end of the workshop, so I'm always getting excited, interested, and want to know what's got, what is the next photos so yeah it's um in every workshop so i'm always excited and curious what will be the photos so yeah and yeah i'm not just i'm not selecting i'm not telling the children what they select but yeah i'm i'm power, I'm, I'm teaching them I'm give, with the photography i'm giving giving them subjects such such as genders uh, bullying child rights child labor child uh, marriage so i'm trying to use photography to empower them it's very good tool to like uh, mix child rights and uh, photography together. Be so they select all the, the their subject by themselves. So yeah, so like I said, I'm get always getting surprised. And, and, and the amazing thing, again, for anyone who doesn't know is that the children as well, um, Sebast teaches them how to develop their photographs as well, which I can imagine is quite an amazing moment as well. Yeah, I mean, so first in the workshop, so I show them all the different types of camera, digital, lomography, uh, analog photography, and I sh I'm, t I'm explaining them why it's analog photography. Then with the composition of photography, I'm like mixing child rights. So yeah, we going outside shooting without films just to practice how to shoot photos after and show them some documentaries of like a for, about like a, a professional amazing uh, female photographers male photographers just to let them express yeah, yeah get empowered and believe themselves 
uh, yeah, and after that, so we gave them like simple compact cameras. So they took it for two weeks, three weeks to home. And after that, they come back to the workshop and we, yeah, and I show them how to develop and print the photos inside the darkroom. After that, so I'm just watching them. They do all this process by themselves. Yeah. And how, how is it seeing them, seeing their photos kind of appear? I mean, for the, I mean, you believe me, in every, every child, they think it's magic in the beginning because when the photos show up on the top, uh, chemicals, so in the first developer, so they, they are like opening their mouths like this. So, <laughs> so they say, wow, it's magical. So yeah, so I mean, so they continue. So after they learn all this process, they are coming to the workshop every day. So just to print their photos. I'm so not surprised. I can imagine it's it's incredible. Yeah. And the I mean the other thing as well, um, probably to mention is so since since the pandemic, um, correct me if I'm wrong here, but you you were able to get a mobile dark room, which yeah. meant that you were able to travel. So maybe you could tell us a bit about about what yeah about that. So I mean, uh, so Sikan has a container. It been like never been used for a long time. It never been used like, for a long time. So uh, we got idea because using transportation, normal transportation to take a child from a city to our center, it could be very hard for a child. And especially parents for in the beginning. So they don't know about us. So maybe, so especially for females. So they are like, uh, a little bit not uh, they are a little bit they they don't want to send their children so we with the mobile photography actually it, it, we can so the idea was to go to the rich children not rich children rich us so we had we turned our container to a mobile the mobile dark room Amazing. yeah and we have also now from the fundraising so we got our caravan it's a a very beautiful mini caravan. So we are starting going to the villages and reaching children. We turned the caravan into dark room. So we're doing all this process inside the container also and caravan. Yeah. It's so incredible. And I can imagine so and so you travel, you travel across uh, kind of along the Turkish border, right? Across yeah. like along the Syrian Turkish border. Uh, yeah, yeah, villages around Mardi. Personally. And how how is that how is it different um you know doing these kind of singular workshops in the villages I mean how how do you find the children there um respond respond to the the workshops I mean they've never been access to like a, such a culture workshop or like a, this art workshop so they uh, when they uh, when I explain to them you have you, you will take a camera to home they don't believe it. They said, really? So they are always surprised because it's first time they are like participating in the, like this kind of workshop. So yeah, they are surprised. And in the beginning of the workshop, so the reason we select analog photography, so we want to like children uh, get self-confidence because with analog photography, uh, you cannot delete your photos. You have like, when we teach them, so, uh, um, child rights and teach them composition of photography. So they started taking photos, but without knowing what they took and how it's, what is the photo, how is it? So they started taking photos so from the beginning until the end, after the end of the workshop. So they know when they see the result, so they starting believing in them, themselves. Oh, this is very good photo. And they are, after we devil, we printed photos inside the dark room, we are making like a discussion. We talk about photos. So they are explaining their photos. Because I think what, what I'm, every time I look back on them, I'm always just like, so in awe of how experimental they are you know these are they're really sort of you know you have these then part of I think part of where the title comes from I saw the, the air fly I mean it's from it's from a poem but I think what we wanted to reference there was this you know there is this real like like movement to a lot of the images and there's a lot of kind of children jumping and kind of look you know seeming to fly and you know there's a lot of kind of play and magic in in the images um but I mean like I said, for us, I think that, I mean, the like experimentative nature of them was so, you know, so incredible. And, you know, it's just kind of, 
you know it's really exciting to see just to kind of I guess see what what the childhood imagination can do you know and just kind of the idea that you can give a child a camera and for them to be able to kind of imagine up this world I guess it's yeah yeah exactly all yeah I mean they are using the imagination and with this little camera they are expressing expressing themselves so yeah so like I said, so also I saw the airfly book. It was selected by for all the photos were selected by children. So after uh, our first discussion, like you said, uh, I show the for children all the photos. They select their photos by themselves. So yeah, it's all all this book all by themselves. It's so it's so incredible. And you know what was I think what was fun for us in terms of editing it was trying to because there's such kind of variety in the work and that you have these kind of these kind of really incredible portraits that are made you know of the children like in their homes or kind of in you know in Mardin and then combined with these I'm going to just find there's one you know combined like I said with these kind of really experimental like this is one that I always that always sticks out to me of this of a mirror, you know, really kind of quite strange, like yeah. beautiful, beautiful images. Um, and it was quite, you know, for I guess when we were working together, Sylvest on on editing it, trying to, you know, find that balance and find that kind of rhythm between between these images that are quite, you know, so surreal, and then also really a kind of showing you the kind of like domestic lives or, you know, just these kind of moments of play. Um, and yeah, I mean, it was just, I mean, they're just, they're just stunning. Also the, the book cover for me is all, I'm always, it's just a kind of, and again, like an amazing, amazing photograph. Yeah, I mean, the book is like uh, explaining, representing the title. I saw the fly, maybe. Right. <laughs> yeah. And so, I mean, maybe, maybe, we can talk a bit about how how you see um the photography as a kind of therapy for for the children you know I guess that's that as you mentioned is kind of one of the like foundational ideas of Sakani Darkroom and I'd just be interested to hear from you as you know as a teacher you know how what how what the benefits are and how you see it as this kind of like therapeutic um, yeah, I mean, I mean, like I said, I mean, so when you see in the beginning of the workshop, so when they participate in the workshop, so they are very shy, they are cannot, uh, they don't participate. So we are one of our goals is to participation. Participation is very important for us. So they don't participate. So they are use brother or sisters are always in like one side. So it's, and yeah, yeah, relatives are in one side, and so the strangers. So people, children are, they, that they don't know them, so it's they are one side. So, uh, yeah, I mean, child, photography is really, I mean, it's a, it was like a the language to bring to communities because I mean Turkish and like I said, I mean this book same languages, but they never been in communication like they didn't have, they never been like a, talk, they never been talked to each other. So. Uh, so it's they it's photography gives them a chance to like uh, to bring the child together to like uh, uh, know each other more better because uh, yeah I remember one Kurdish guy child or like a refugee guy, child yeah and one local children so they are neighbors so and they never been like spoken to each other so yeah after this so many years so it was First time to talk and beginning of the workshop, you see chatting of the workshop. So we see children participating and expressing themselves and asking about their rights because we are, like I said, I'm, we are teaching them child rights, bullying, child rights, uh, child marriage, gender. So. So yeah, so you see at the ends of the workshop, they are expressing themselves by photography. Yeah. And the and the other thing, um, again, for anyone who doesn't know, is that um 
as well as the dark room, Sakani also has a circus school. So you have these, again, these kind of two, these two kind of workshops, but, and, you know, how, I mean, how does the, how does the circus school do the same? Does it kind of have the same effect in kind of allowing children to, to express themselves? Or, you know, how does, how does that, how does that compare? Yeah, I mean, uh, so generally, so I mean, I can give you a history of Sirkane. So Sirkane was also founded in 20, 2012, yeah, before 90 years ago. So mostly like Sirkane works with children who are affected by war or like a vulnerable uh, children, especially in Mardin. So we have uh, in Sirkane circus, circus workshops, music workshops, and science and technology workshop. So each workshop has their own like uh, tools. Uh, yeah, so in, circ in circus workshop, Sirkane, so we teach them, uh, yeah, how to express themselves with a, a circus. <laughs> It's amazing. And I can imagine it's a lot of like some of the same principles in, in you know, like play and experimentation. Um, and yeah, I think it's just, you know, it's to, to be able to, yeah, I think, it, you know, it's just exciting to be able to see, see what, what the children can kind of imagine for, you know, within, within photography. Um, and yeah, I was going to ask about um, about you know as when when you're teaching when you're teaching um, actually yeah when you're when you're teaching photography you know what what are you, are you giving them sort of prompts or you know when you're giving when you're giving the children the cameras you going because you know for, I think I think we spoke about this when we were making the book but one of one of the kind of references in our mind is this amazing book um called portraits and dreams by wendy ewald who's a teacher who was working in the 1980s and she she was living in the appalachian mountains and the book is made up of photographs made by children in the appalachian mountains and she and she you know she was working as a teacher and she would go out and she would you know ask the children to kind of photograph those connection uh can you can you hear me now? Yeah, got it. <laughs> yeah, so um, and you know, Wendy Ewald would go out and work with the children. She'd ask them to photograph their dreams or photograph their fears, and you know, I think a lot of the the you know the images share share a lot of the same qualities of of this kind of like magic and play and um, kind of really yeah ex experimentation and so I'd be interested to know you know when you're actually teaching what what are the kind of prompts that you're giving the children I mean in our program I mean actually I'm also like mixing for my workshop in the beginning of the workshop and the end of the workshop each day with the games and playing so yeah I mean it's uh, like you can say we're all like uh, playing together and like we are yeah, we are just being ourselves in the workshop. So yeah, so it's a celebration of childhood. How how's it been? How how's it been kind of getting the physical book and how have the children have they been happy with it? How's how's their reaction been in seeing in seeing the book? I mean they I mean when after our after selection of the photos, so after a long time, I just surprised them with a book. <laughs> I, I mean, I can say I don't have the photos now, but such reactions was amazing. I mean, I also record, record some videos and yeah, I mean, it's... Oh, I think you're... Amazing. I mean, they didn't believe it. Photos inside the book, so yeah, and they started like... Uh, as so, yeah, informing their parents. So we have a, a new book, our new book. So the fan parents start to like contact me. So can we have a, like a book? So I uh, I showed the book to the families also because the families also like they couldn't believe it. They are very proud of their child. So yeah, it's incredible. And I know we were when we were um we said that we would select maybe an image or two from the book to talk about in particular I mean is there one and it's probably I know it's hot I mean just it was 
having to select the images for the book was the hardest thing because they're all you know the the wider selection I mean if for anyone who's interested if you follow um Sekane's Instagram and you can see you can see the long list of you know it was the most impossible impossible <laughs> process because they're all amazing but um I mean I wonder if there's one in particular for you that you're kind of that sort of stands out for you in a way Oh. Right, so the photos are magical. So, I mean, all the photos are great. So, I'm very confused which one. Yeah. <laughs> so, I don't know. Let me see. I've got. I've got one. I'll start. <laughs> you can show us yours if you want. I there's there's one that we opened with which is, so the book begins with these three, with these kind of three double page spreads. So you have the city yeah. and then you have these two boys playing in the street. And then this one, which is a kind of, again, an example of this quite experimental work. And then it begins with this image, which if you can see it is, this is just one of my absolute favorites. So it's um, taken by Refai, who's 12. And, you know, I'm gonna just show you again so you can see, but you know, there's a chicken there that's kind of looks like it's about to take flight. And there's a young girl coming around the corner. And if you look here, there's another figure. I just love it. It's, it really, it's just. Um, yeah, I mean, this photo actually is rep representing him because he's uh, has a lot of like uh, animals and he's, it's his friends, it's his friend, his friends. So he's always like with his chickens and dogs. And yeah, he's living in like station and always like taking care of their friends. And, and so this photo is really representing I him. It's like, yeah. But also because there's so much movement in it. Again, there's a lot of, a lot of the images are just like, like I said, there's kind of the people jumping and, you know, there's just, they're all so full of kind of movement and, you know, really capture this like playfulness, but also the animals. I mean, there's some amazing animal images. I know one of the last ones is of, where is it now? With There's some kids with a cat, this one. She's, you know, again, you just kind of have, yeah, it's you have these amazing. Yeah. <laughs> um, so that's, that's one of my favorites. Have you found one? <laughs> my actually so where where is it so let me see so uh, so yeah this is also one of my oh, favorite yeah. photos <laughs> with that with so the hearts uh, I mean she's really uh, yeah I mean she's very creative I mean. Uh, she will she affected by war in Saibin. So after like uh, the, this trauma, I mean, she using all her yeah. So, I mean, she's expressing with herself with photography. She's really amazing. So uh, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of photo. I mean, yeah, this is also like this photo is really great. I love that. it. Yeah. That was. I know we went back and forth for a long time on trying to find the right cover. Yeah. Um, again, because there's so many, you know, there were so many amazing ones to choose from, and each each cover had gave the book such a specific feel. Oh yeah, I love that one as well. Yeah, so, this is also. I mean, I love this photo a lot. I mean, it's also like representing them. I mean, I mean, they are like playing outside, yeah, together. So yeah, it's about childhood. I mean, yeah, photo of children. Also, the I'm gonna I'm gonna show one final one, which is one of the ones that we ended on that I think we hadn't seen it for for a while, and then it suddenly we were when Morgan and I, who's our designer, was we, we had we had all the images printed out on this big table, and we're kind of trying to do the sequence, and we we'd missed it originally, and then th we saw this image. Yeah, it's one of the final ones. Which you can just see is like a boy whose head is just poking out, and it just again felt yeah. so so sort of like cheeky and playful. Yeah. Um, but but yeah, I mean, I think so. We've we've done half an hour. Um, so I wonder whether if we open for questions. Um, I don't know if there's any. 
in are there any questions online coming through to you both um not that i can see okay i'll i'll, I'll have a question then thank you for that amazing presentation and quite a few there was a couple of things that um struck me was that when you both mentioned the magic of the dark room and i'm sure all of us here and everybody's watching at home if you've ever had that experience of watching your first black and white picture being developed it is like magic and i want to ask you Serbus, what, what what was the children's reaction when when they were in the dark room and their images started to appear in the in the developer so yeah i mean like i said i mean for them they i mean in the beginning Beginning. So when I explain them, so the photo will show up in the photo uh, in besides the top in the first like, developer. So they for them it doesn't make a sense because they, they never saw it. So when they see the reaction, so they are start, starting saying, "Oh, Bismillah, Bismillah!" Oh, it's me, like, "Oh my God!" So yeah, so they think it's magical. So some. Uh, yeah, I remember once they, yeah, mostly they are asking me, are you a magician? <laughs> so, yeah. You are a magician. And actually. you say yes. Yeah. <laughs> but my, my other, so, following on from that, because the, we've been passing the, the uh, book around the audience here, um, and a lot of the photographs in it are very joyful and playful. Did that come about because the children selected with your sort of guidance the photographs or um was that just what they were going out and, and photographing uh, sorry i think i have con i lost connection so um looking through the book what strikes me is and it's great that a lot of the photographs come across as like full of hope and joyful and playful was that because the children chose the photographs themselves or was that because of the themes that you ask them to go out and photograph. I mean, exactly. So yeah, I mean, so all these photos that it's been selected by children. So this is also like the goal of the my project. So I didn't want like to be selected by me. So yeah, so they took photos. So I want to let them they select their uh, photos. So it's all from the eyes of children. Fantastic. Um, I'm I'm aware that I might be hogging this. So does anyone? From our audience, if you have a question, I'm going to have to ask you to come up here and stand on the mark, X marks the spot, so that um, Liv and Serbes can hear what's been said. And also, we're recording this talk, so it can be recorded. So, if you've got any question, yeah, uh, yeah. we've Thank also you. got one online as well. Oh, and there's one online. So we'll take this question and then we'll go online. Thank you. <laughs> X marks the spot. Oh, okay. <laughs> right, hello. When you went to the villages, how long were you in each village? So, I mean, uh, so it depends on like a children's uh, availability because sometimes they are going to school. So, I'm um, when it's a like, school, so I'm making my workshop in the weekends. So, mostly it takes like seven months, uh, weeks, seven weeks each uh, workshops. So yeah, I'm mostly working with, uh, in one group, I'm working with 20, 10 children. So yeah, in like in seven weeks, I'm working around like 100, yeah, 100 children. So in one, one, one workshop. So, so yeah. <laughs> Oh, very. Yeah. And how long did this project last? And how many villages did you go to? I mean, uh, so selection of villages it get changed because first we get we need to get uh, permission from the governor, like government of Mardin. So it's always getting changed. So I mean, mostly like I said, it uh, it lasts seven more weeks. So yeah. All right. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Thank you. Um. So I'll do the one of the online. Yeah, do, do, do the online questions. Thank um, you. So we've got one. Someone's asking, um, "How can the photographic community help you? What do you need?" Um, okay. Ah, yeah. So I mean, before the pandemic, so people used to like uh, donate, say their secondhand uh, materials to us. But now, uh, after pandemic, so Turkish government, so 
they are they have they have like a new law so it's very hard to like people send me uh second hands uh, from from outside of turkey to turkey so maybe like from turkey in, yeah inside turkey would be great and also we have a, like a, a We are opening like so. We are opening our fundraising uh, campaign, and we have uh, like another uh, way. So the guy or Turkey itself. So. But mostly, like time by time, we are opening fundraising, so people can donate, support us by fundraising, and also can be part of my project. So, so because I'm always want, want to like uh, uh, photographers like show their how uh, share us their experience with photographies to children. So they are always welcome to be part of my project. Yeah, our project. It's children project actually. <laughs> so. Yeah. And also, you, sorry, just to see you froze a bit there, but I think we got, I think we got the, the main gist of it. Sorry, Liv. No, no, I was going to say also that um, all the proceeds from the book um, will go back to Sakane. So if anyone wants to get the book, you can, <laughs> you can get that online. Um, so, and then we've, so we've got another question, um, which is someone saying, fabulous, joyful work and presentation. I'm sure there are many images which didn't make the book. Any future plans for the project? Yeah, I mean, future plan is yeah, continue with caravan workshops. So, uh, caravan is a really great uh, way to let reach children. So, there is still a lot of like children around, like on the border. They are really they never been like a, see this kind of like workshops and. They are after pandemic. They are really so. They didn't participate in school. They didn't have access to school in, during in pandemic because they cannot access to internet. They don't have internet, so all the school wa was closed. So my plan is to continue caravan because caravan is the way to reach children. So yeah, and container. Brilliant. And we've got um oh someone's asking where can we buy the book so i think if you're um at impressions gallery you can get it there um but if not you can get it on mac's website so that's macbooks.co.uk um so that's yeah that's where you can get it and it should be in bookstores as well so um yeah oh i think impressions gallery is muted said going back to the point about how can the photographic community help this project um again for the people who are here at impressions in person our tombola um our ever popular tombola which you have a one in five chance of winning a photo book some by some photo legends and some rare books and um, all proceeds that we make from the tombola today we're giving all the money raised back to the sakani um dark room so that's another way that we can support and, and there's some amazing books. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds brilliant. So much. I mean, behalf of Sukhani, we really thank you so much. I mean, I hope one day we can like uh, invite you to our workshops. You live in Impression Gallery, so it will be really great to like to see children face to face in yeah in Martin. It will be really no, great. No, no. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. We're going to have to wrap up. That was amazing, thank you. It's always so good to hear like the process and hear it in someone's own voices. It's amazing what you're what you're doing out there on the Turkish Syrian border. Keep up the, the, the work. I mean, just to give passion to, to children and to give them hope and to give them the passion of photography. It's great. And thank you, Liv and Mac, for publishing the book. Some, some of the best photographs I've seen in a long, long time are in the book. Um, Thank you very much for your enlightening conversation. So um, everybody, the book is, I saw the air fly, it's amazing. Online at Mac or in person here out, out at the photo book fair. So thank you all for coming, both in person, thank you online and thank you again, Service and Liv, thank you. Thank you, thank you so much. <laughs>
I thank all my friends, especially Max Books uh, Gallery, uh, Persian Gallery, and our children because I mean, thanks to children, I mean, they did all this project. So yeah. Thank you. And the technology work. I'm the can for yeah. carrying it. <laughs> 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 Great Bye everyone. Bye. Bye.